So think about the following. There's the startup phase of startups where you're scrambling for resources, you're scrambling for customers, you're even scrambling for ideas that might have traction in the marketplace and you're scrambling to hire people who might be willing to go along with you on that journey. At some point you reach what we loosely call product market fit, where you know you have a product or a service that is getting some traction in the market. It's kind of like now off the ground, if you will. And now you might even be able to get some funding and now you're thinking of hiring people and growing the organization and it's fascinating for me to see how many startups derail at that juncture. Just on the cusp of success, you basically it's, you, you enter into what I would call the suicidal phase of, of, of startups, where you start to inflict wounds to yourself. And a lot of it has to do with the founder and the founding team's inability to let go of old ways of doing things. What got you here is not going to get you there. And, and so the willingness to evolve your management style, to evolve your management systems, because now you're saying, let's professionalize and bring in people with more professional skills. The early people are usually generalists, jack of all trades, willing to try different things.